Hello there guys, it is Maxo Diddley here and today I am here with another Java tutorial to view that A in your practical exam and today we're here with validating the date. So firstly we got the input here that the user will give to us, it's a string and it needs to be in this format for it to be valid. So let's now create our method public static void validate string date. In here we'll do date time for matter for matter or whatever you want to call it equals date time for matter dot of pattern and in here you want to do speech marks dd lower cases slash uppercase m's two of them and four lowercase u's now I want to right click on date time formatter and click fix imports. Now you want to try catch. And in the catch you want to do system.out.println invalid. In the try you will want to do formatter or whatever you called your date time formatter object dot pass date date is basically whatever string you're passing into the method which is the user's input and system dot out dot print ln valid date before we run the code you need to call the method val date input now let's run the method. And as you can see, it says valid date. Our input was the 31st of April of 2004. That is a valid date. Now let's put in, let, let's say the 32nd of, of April. That should be invalid. Look at that, it's invalid. Let's put in the 23rd of the 13th of 2007, let's say. This should be invalid. It is invalid. So anyway guys, now that we sh I've shown you that it works, I'm going to quickly describe what it's doing. We have a method here, it doesn't return any values because it's a void, it's called validate, it takes in one string, and we're going to call the string date. We are creating a, an object, a formatter object, we attempt to convert our string to the format of this format object that we've created, if it works that's amazing, that means it has to be valid. If it doesn't work, that means the string the user inputted must not ma be able to match this formatter object, therefore it's not a valid date. So it will fail, and instead of crashing, it catches the error and we just say invalid. That's literally all there is to it guys, some very simple Java. If you want to see more Java tutorials, be sure to check out my channel and subscribe. If you've got a suggestion, be sure to leave it in the comments below. Anyway guys, thanks for being a great audience and I'll see you next time.